There are many different types of domestic animals such as dogs, cats, fish, birds, rabbits, and guinea pigs. Our pets are our non-judgmental companions that give unqualified love and joy to us. However, our pets could also give us germs and parasites that can make us ill. Any disease or an infection that is naturally transmittable from vertebrate animals to humans and vice versa is known as a zoonotic disease. Now researchers have found 2.2 million human deaths every year due to zoonotic diseases. Zoonotic diseases are caused by all types of pathogenic or infective agents such as parasites, bacteria, viruses and fungi. Ringworm or dermatophytosis is a skin and scalp disease caused by several different kinds of fungi. It makes a bald patch and also itchy ring-shaped rashes on the skin or scalp. Ringworm is transmitted from direct contact with an infected animal's skin or hair. Dogs and cats, especially kittens or puppies, can have ringworm that are spread to humans. Rabies is a disease caused by virus. People usually get rabies from a bite of an infected animal. Who pets like dogs or cats must be vaccinated against rabies. Rabies are very rare in Europe, but there is a chance for your pet of having rabies especially if you took them to another country like India or Africa on vacation. Most of the zoonotic diseases are caused by a type of pathogenic agent known as bacteria. Campy, psittacosis, salmonella and tularemia are types of bacterial diseases in animals. Campy or Campylobacteriosis is a disease which causes mild to severe infection of the gastrointestinal system. It is usually found in animals' feces, people with compromised immune systems including organ transplant patients or people with HIV AIDS have a higher risk than others of getting Campylobacter infection from animals. Psittacosis is an infection caused by Chlamydia cetacei which is a type of bacteria found in the droppings of birds including parakeets, macaws and cockatiels. Birds often do not show symptoms, but in humans, symptoms include blood-tinged sputum, dry cough, fatigue, fever and chills, headache, joint aches, muscle aches, etc. Salmonella, also known as salmonellosis, is another type of bacterial disease caused by the bacterium called salmonella. Most people have diarrhea, fever and stomach pain that start one to three days after they get infected. The diarrhea can get severe or the infection can spread. Reptiles and amphibians that live in tanks or aquariums can contaminate the water with salmonella, which can lead to illness in people. Tularemia or rabbit fever is an infectious disease caused by the bacterium Francisla tularensis having such severe symptoms as chills, fever, vomiting, and prostration. A couple of days from the occurrence of these symptoms, an elevated lesion develops in the infected area which later becomes ulcerous. This is the graph of the rate of tularemia. Toxoplasmosis is caused by a parasite called Toxoplasma gondii. Most people who get it do not get sick, but some will get swollen glands, muscle aches and feel like they've the flu. Women who are pregnant should really be careful because this disease can infect the fetus and cause an abortion or malformation. Toxoplasmosis is passed from contaminated cat feces and they catch this disease by cleaning cat litter or touching dirt where cats might have defecated from. Prevention is really important. As some people may say, prevention is better than cure or an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Here are some preventions, be aware of zoonotic diseases and your potential for infection. Wash hands thoroughly and frequently after petting an animal. Supervise your children to ensure they wash their hands properly and avoid hand-to-mouth activities such as thumb sucking or eating after animal contact or even kissing your pet. Vaccinate your pets against rabies and also yourself. Avoid handling stray animals. Those were some precautions you could consider. Thank you for watching this video and hope you learned something new today.